I've got another synthesizer to show you today, as well as some MIDI tools I've created. It's called the Macchiato Mini Synth from a company called Zeppelin Design Labs, who's a friend at SparkFun. Thanks for sending in this awesome kit. Fully built, the synth has a built-in speaker and it's fun to play. But let's see what's going on inside. The stock firmware uses the Mozzie library for Arduino to produce waveforms. I'm new to the Mozzie system. If anyone knows what this topology of output is called, please let me know in the comments. With our scope, we can see that the sound is generated by two PWM outputs that are then summed and filtered and amplified. Out of the box, the synth has four wave shapes that it can generate. Sine, triangle, ramp, and square, which can be set over a four octave range. There are two control points for the envelope, attack and decay. An LFO has a few shapes to choose from too. I'm using the square shape to get a really pulsing effect. The LFO is applied to the cutoff frequency at a rate and depth controlled by the knobs. That's just the stock firmware though. Inside, there's an Atmega 644 PA. The factory source code is supplied and can be recompiled with Arduino, then uploaded using an AVR pocket programmer attached to the 6-pin ISP header. The first tool I've built allows multiple devices without through ports to coexist and provides a debug output. I've created this tool out of a redboard, two MIDI shields, and an old USB explorer I had lying around. When enabled, this allows me to see the data on the MIDI bus and make sure that various devices are sending the messages I expect. The other tool I've built is a box that filters the MIDI communication that passes through it, called a MIDI bender. The circuit is a redboard MIDI shield pair with a bunch of I.O. wired on, and a state machine in the code for interface functions. The case has been milled from scrap wood with the shape OCO. The box allows remapping of the MIDI channels, keyboard split, and some other functions. I can use it to quickly switch between instruments and to operate both synthesizers from a single keyboard. Here, the lower half is routed to the Proto 8's MIDI channel, up to the set point. Above that, the messages are routed to the Macchiato channel. Now I can operate both from a single keyboard, so I'll play a little demo. Having the ability to tweak firmware and hardware allows me to get systems together that may not be compatible. On their own, both of these synthesizers sound great, but together they sound even better. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for musically in the future, but stay tuned to find out. And thanks again to Zeppelin Labs for sending in this great kit. Check out their webpage for the latest information on the Macchiato Mini Synth.